Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a simple, easy tool and technique you can use to help change your negative thinking. Before we get started, I want to invite you to a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can grab this on my website, heatherhakes.com. All right, let's talk about it. Negative thoughts. Negative thoughts are keeping you on repeat. They're in that vicious negative feedback loop and you keep getting more of the same. What I want to help you understand is let's start at square one. You have somewhere between 60 to 70,000 thoughts per day. Statistics show that nearly 80% of those thoughts are negative and 90 to 95% of the thoughts you are thinking today you were thinking yesterday. Now you can see how you can get stuck on this vicious negative feedback loop. And I know what it feels like to have that mental chaos, that monkey mind falling down those rabbit holes, keeping you stuck in self-doubt, imposter syndrome, feeling unworthy, and so much more. So how do you stop the momentum? How do you create a new forward focus? How do you change your thought patterns from all that negativity and step into more empowerment and positive thinking? Because here's what we know for sure. Thoughts become things. And when you are constantly focused on the suck and woe is me and never, nothing ever works out for me and you know, that negative narrative, you literally are perpetuating the problem. All right, so here are a couple things. I, I wanna give you multiple ways that you can go about this. Number one, it's about catching and replacing. You've gotta catch those negative thoughts. This is about becoming aware. This is about being conscious of your unconscious programming. Again, you can learn more about your subconscious mind in my free training on my website, heatherhakes.com. But when you become aware of your mental programming, when you can catch and replace, or you can say, nope, not today. I have a shirt that says that. And I wear it as a reminder. Nope, we're not going down that rabbit hole. Nope, those disempowering thoughts aren't taking over today. But you can also catch yourself and go cancel, 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 delete. Because again, that stops the momentum. So figure out what works for you. Another way to go about this, if you really want to deep dive in what I call pull the weeds and plant new seeds, is to start taking a thought inventory. Now, this is not about judging. This is not about beating yourself up. It's helping you to become aware of those negative thoughts. And so what you can do is it's a three column process. What are those negative thoughts you have on repeat? I'm not enough. I can't do this. Nobody likes me. I can't get ahead. Nothing ever works out for me. Take an inventory, make a list. That would be column number one, all of your disempowering thoughts, your disempowering beliefs. Then, to help you in this awareness, what emotions does that create? That's what I want you to list out in column number two. That way you can understand how your thoughts create your emotions and feelings. I talk about this often in the thought cycle. Simple four-step process. Everything begins in the mind. Everything begins with thoughts. So if your thoughts create your emotions and feelings, those lead to the actions or inactions you take and ultimately create your results. Now you understand the power and the necessity of becoming aware of your thoughts. Step number three in that third column, I want you to literally, it's the inverse. Whatever that disempowering belief is, I'm not enough, I'm not worthy, I can't do this, it's too hard, I'm going to quit. Now I want you to come up with an empowering belief. This is about the catch and replace. You catch those negative and you replace it with a positive affirmation, how you actually want to direct your thoughts in your mind. And now with this new empowering thought, this is where you can use affirmations to help reprogram your mind and your thinking. But you can't do this once. It's like going to the gym and doing bicep curls and thinking you're gonna be fit for the rest of your life. This is about an intentional and mindful way of living. The more you do this, you will create repetition and consistency and literally you will reprogram your mind. You will turn that ship around. You will go from you know, a negative Nancy to a much more positive way of thinking and being. And guess what? By changing your thoughts, you will change your emotions. And as you know, through quantum physics, we live in an energetic universe. 
This is an energy game. And when you start thinking differently, you start feeling differently. And when you combine new thoughts and feelings, you are going to create new results in your life. Again, understanding we live in an energetic universe and that thoughts become things, low vibe thoughts and feelings create low vibe results. However, when you feel positive, when you are thinking abundantly, when you have joy and happiness and that's what you are exuding, that is your new way of being, you're going to create those kind of experiences in your life. And I know that's what you want. So this really does come down to an awareness game. It comes down to living mindfully and intentionally, catching and replacing. And it's about becoming so conscious, so aware of those negative thoughts that you don't fall back and go unconscious, that you don't fall back into autopilot. I want you to use this. I want you to apply this to your life. What is your one takeaway you wanna implement into your life? Comment below. Is it the nope, not today? Is it the cancel, cancel, delete? Is it taking that thought inventory and rewriting? How are you going to do this? And that's the key because knowledge alone is not power. However, knowledge and experience is power. That's why I always give a takeaway. I always give you an action step and that's what I want you to do. So again, comment below. I want to hear from you. What tool or technique are you going to implement into your life? Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And if this content resonates, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next video.